That's right. So how many of you Skype? Who Skypes? Computer geeks here. I don't myself, but I know some of you do. Do you know that that's such an interesting word because as I was preparing for today, and I do th did that with my dictionary. Do you have dictionaries? Do you look every, or you, do you look up, you look everything up online? Get a dictionary, hold it in your hand, go through it. You find all kinds of wonderful things. So anyway, as I was researching for today, I find that the word ship comes from the word Skype. In the old English, that was long ago, when, as the English language was beginning to be formed, the word was Skype for ship. And it's S-C-I-P-E, -S Skype. That's how it was. And so, that's so interesting to me because here we are, we're going to talk about a suffix. What is a suffix? <gasps> What's a suffix? Okay, anybody know what a suffix is? What's a prefix? Do you know? Okay, what? You got it, okay. So a prefix is what is, is a little piece of a word that comes before the main word and the suffix is what comes after. So the ship is what we're talking about today or not the sailing ships, that's a different word. But we're talking today about the ship that comes at the end of words. Now do you know some of those? Uh, rocket ship. Rocket ship, well that's <laughs> what. <laughs> now what I was going to. <laughs> I love rocket ships, actually. Uh, friendship, you saw it on my list. Friendship, relationship, yes. Wonderful ship, gold ship. Uh, these, these are all wonderful words, and what happens is that when you put, when you are, f for instance, if you're a friend, and you put ship on the end of it, what is that, how does that change it? Hmm? When you, when, well you can be friends, you are all friends right here in Sunday school, aren't you? And, and uh, Scott, right? Scott's a new friend. Um, so you're, you have friends and then you have friendships. And friendships means that you, um, you really participate in being friends. You think about the person, you are friendly with them in a way that you might not be if you just meet one of your classmates on the street and say hi. So I just wanted you to share, wanted to share that with you. And we, but we need to act this out. Now let me see if we can do this. I wanted to give you uh, one of my, uh, you know, I really needed, uh, I really needed you, uh, Caitlin, when I was doing this because I'm really not a very good poster maker. So what I need for you to do now is to take this word, friend, and each of you take a letter and line up, line up with your letter. So there's a, the F, you wanna take that, please? Okay, and there's your R, there's your I, and here's your E. Excellent. And D. See if you can line up across the front so that people can see you. Okay. So how are they going to read it? They're going. <laughs> That's it. You got it. Good. Uh huh. That's wonderful. So you're holding up the word friend. Now, why do you think I did this this way? The reason, <laughs> the reason is that many, many people, for one thing, they might have a hard time hearing, and so they might need to see what we're talking about. And another, another piece of that is, is if, for instance, you can't hear very well, then you could see it. 
printed out. So those are things that are important that I think we wanted to see. So here is friend. All right, now some of you in the middle then have other letters on the back. Would you all turn your letters around? There you are. Now you have a blank one on both ends, and you have, what is it in the middle? Ship, isn't it? So you have your friend and ship. All right, now some of you will need to hold on to your letters because we're going to have another little, a little uh, turnaround here. And I'll tell you which ones. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take uh, the D, the D comes up here, okay? The D comes up here, then there's an I. Turn yours around. There's an I, yeah, okay. Then you can stand next. All right, then there's an S. Okay, there's an S, and I'll give you the C. Okay. So here's your C. Okay, here we go. Here's your C. Disciple, D-I-S-C, uh-huh, hold your C up, all right, now we have an L, somebody come and hold the L, down here, E-L-E, somebody else on an E, oh, I thought I had this all, there you go, here, Eric, come down here, please. Please give this to Scott. <laughs> Let me see what we've done here. I don't know. Really Let me see if this will work. Now you turn the middle ones around. Do you have a ship on yours? S, A, you have an S? Oh, look at that. Oh, you have it. Oh my goodness, look at that. We're just so organized we can hardly stand ourselves. <laughs> wow, look at that. So a disciple is a follower of Jesus. And so as you share in your, as, as a disciple of Jesus, you follow Jesus and you love Jesus and you learn about Jesus, and he is just a, the most important person. So when we, then when we have the ship, discipleship, it means you really want to get into knowing and loving Jesus, and you really want to study, and you really want to come to Sunday school, and you want to share in your youth class, and you are a disciple of Jesus. And so that's just very special. Now we're going to try one more thing. Oh my goodness, I don't think I, I, you know, I really hoped that this would go, Shh. <laughs> yeah, never mind. All right, so, um, all right, here we are as, as a steward, I need an S, up here, okay, <laughs> yes, you need to go to the D, okay, we need a T, here, have your T.
have it? Do we have it? S D E W A R D. Okay, there. Oh, you got it? All right. <laughs> All right, what is this word? Got it. It is steward. That's right. And so a steward takes care of the property of someone else. And so when we are stewards, we take care of what God has given us. And God has given us everything we have. And so we want to be very careful about all and very faithful about what all that God has given us. Now, if you in the middle would turn yours around, what do we, f <laughs> what do we find? Not, yeah, that's it. Where do we find? Oh, there, see, you've got your ship right down the middle. And so when we are stewards, we practice stewardship. And that means we really get right into it. And then we really love God and we appreciate all that God has given us. And so we give thanks as God has blessed us and given us this wonderful sharing time. Uh, I just, I love you all so much. I'm so glad that we could share together this morning. And I do appreciate all your help. Give them a big And now may we uh, close our hearts, uh, turn our hearts together. Let's turn our hearts together to uh, pray the prayer that Jesus has taught us to pray. I'll take those for you. Let's pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done.